Hey guys, it's Z from Build the Business You Love, and I am back with another event space video. So um, this video, I haven't been asked that much about it, but I've been asked enough to do a video about it, right? It's not like a, a common concern, but it is a concern for some event space owners. So I kind of just wanted to address it and to so you can see kind of my thoughts on it. And I would also like to hear your thoughts at the end as well, okay, so in the comment section. So this question pertains to what to say to customers when you're asked to turn off cameras. That's right, turning off cameras. So um, sometimes in, you know, a lot of religious faiths, such as the Muslim faiths, uh, it is frowned upon to be seen a woman for a woman to be seen without their head covering without their hijab and um so it might be a request that you may get as an event space owner to turn off your cameras for religious reasons now i want you to know this is a very delicate and um it's a very delicate situation. So you want to make sure that you have a very respectful approach to it. Okay. And here are some steps that you can actually consider. So the first thing is make sure that you are listening, right? Make sure you have on your listening ears, you're being understanding, you're not cutting them off, you know, you're uh, listening to their concerns, right? And, you know, they kind of are getting across their point um, about asking you to turn off the cameras and their reasoning, but make sure that you come across like you're listening, you know, that you're, you're actually, you know, paying attention to what they're saying. You're not cutting them off because you already know that you're not turning off your cameras, right? Or whatever the case is. So you want to make sure that you put on your listening ears and uh, make sure that, you know, you show them that you have an understanding manner about you as a business owner. Okay. The next thing you should do is review your policies, you know, review what you have in place already within your business, okay? Also, you can explore some alternatives. So uh, one alternative may be to place the cameras at a different angle, right? That's something that you could do. Um, the possibility of doing that can cause other issues that I'll explain it uh, later on in this video. But you can, you know, as a possible alternative, you know, try to angle the cameras in a different direction to make them more comfortable. Uh, you can also, another thing is having them uh, re just reassure them if you are like a woman business owner, reassure them that you are the only one looking at the footage, um, that kind of thing. Um, the next one is you can also adjust the cameras temporarily uh, if there's a specific time that they're, you know, doing their religious practices or taking off their head coverings. You can actually, you know, maybe... Uh, you know, adjust the cameras temporarily based on what they're doing and work with them on that if you're willing to work with them in that area. Um, whatever you do, though, make sure you record the details of the customer's request and their responses and any actions that have been taken. As a business owner, it's important to have these, um, you know, just details of events. If you decide to turn off your cameras or put them at an angle, and why? Because of Murphy's Law. Okay, what can happen will happen. Now, if it were me, I never turned off my cameras for anything. Um, just that was my personal preference, my personal, um, you know, the policies that I had in place. Because, you know, what can happen will happen, right? And it's not out of any disrespect for any faith or anything like that. But I've heard of situations where the cameras were turned off and then someone broke a foot or snapped a knee or something like that, fell in a chair, right? You want all of that stuff to be captured. So it, it's it's kind of like a, a give and take thing, but you have to make sure that you protect yourself and your business. Also, be sure to of course, add it to your contract, right? Um, make sure that when people are signing their contract, they understand what they are signing, okay? It's really important to have a conversation with them or just make sure that, you know, let them know, hey, well, you know, a lot of times these things are done autom uh, automatically now through automations. And some of these things are could be missed, right? So um, if they have questions about it, 
have them look at their contract, but make sure that it's in the contract and you know your contract, right? Because that's really important as well. Also, you should know your statute of limitations so that you can say, well, you know, uh, the statute of limitations in my state is only three years or whatever amount of years. So we keep that footage on, um, on file for that many years. That way you can let them know additional information about how long the footage is going to be on file. Maybe that only a woman will look at the footage if that is the case, right? You'll just uh, relate to them whatever rules that you have, policies that you have for your business, but also make sure that it is in the contract. Okay, guys, if you like little videos like this about events based in business ownership, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And also, I do have an events based course out there. It is teaching people how to start, operate, and manage an event space. If you're thinking, hey, I really have dreamed of it opening up an event space, but uh, you know, I, I just needed to do it in an affordable way, this is an affordable course that teaches you how to start, operate, and manage your event space business, how to get funded, information about visibility and digital marketing strategies, demystifying zoning and CFO automations, contracts, and more. Um, and I always end it with a quote, build your own dreams or someone else will hire you to build theirs. Don't forget to comment, guys, of what you would do in this particular, particular situation. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later.